people righteous cunts? What is that about? What happened in your life, man? Get some medication or go masturbate in the alley. That's what we healthy individuals do. We don't call random women righteous cunts when they don't laugh at your jokes or lack of. Okay. <laughs> A little bit about myself, ladies and gentlemen. I'm 33 years old. I'm in a committed relationship. And one time when I was in college, I fucked a girl only because she looks like Tom Petty. <laughs> gross. No, what was gross is your set earlier. That's what was gross. That's gross. That's what's gross. <laughs> A lot of people, they go, man, Andrew, why would you fuck a girl only because she looks like Tom Petty? And I'll tell you what I told them. You don't know what it's like to be me. <laughs> it's a Tom Petty joke. It's a Tom Petty joke. I don't give a fuck! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's National Girlfriend's Day tonight. Woo! Give it up for National Girlfriend's Woo! Day. I took my girlfriend out for a fajita lunch on National Girlfriend's Day. You know what my girlfriend gave me? She moved to Seattle. That's, that's a true story. Good for her, yeah. Put some distance between me and her. That's a good, healthy thing. I'm going bald, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for bald men! That's the motto for bald men everywhere. Uh, now that I've recently just shaved off all of my hair, my friends, they like to play a game called You Look Like. Uh, it's a fun game where only they tell me what I look like. Gotten some weird responses, like one of my buddies told me I look like Shel Silverstein if he stopped writing books and started modeling for The Gap. I thought that was pretty specific. <laughs> One of my friends told me I look like Butthead if he grew up and read some neoconservative material. I was like, you've been thinking about that for a while. I'm glad you got it out of your system. Somebody told, told me I look like the easiest character to guess in the board game Guess Who. I was like, wow! Simplistic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right within self-deprecation. It's called endearing yourself to the audience. I can hear you. This works both ways. It's a back and forth. You'll learn this. Just keep going back up to open mics. It takes a little while. It's cool. You'll get there, sir. Uh, I'm 33 years old. You know what the best part of growing old is? Is learning that you don't have to act like you like everybody as my, take my set, my set for an example tonight. I don't have to like everybody here. Uh, recently, I have a friend that uh, when he was in the sixth grade, his girlfriend gave him a naked picture of herself and uh, he's 30, he's 32 now and he still owns this naked picture. <laughs> And he's really, like at this point, he doesn't even want to touch it. It's like tucked away in a box somewhere because he feels like if he takes the, the picture out of the box, like police are gonna like storm in and arrest him. And uh, the other day, I got the urge to call the police and said that he has child pornography in his closet. And you know why I almost did this? Was because he spoiled the latest Game of Thrones on Facebook. <laughs> you don't do it, right? Wait, spoil Game of Thrones or call the police on my friend? <laughs> spoil Game of Thrones! That's the best answer. No! Bust your friend for child pornography. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, like I said, I had a girlfriend that just moved away, but... Uh, I, I love my girlfriend, and I knew that I loved my girlfriend the moment, uh, the, near the end of the first date, because uh, we were hanging out at Sound Pony, and when we walked out onto the patio, we saw a, a woman sitting on a guy's lap, and the guy was, I guess, 
The term you use is finger fucking her? Oh yeah. That should just be the slogan for finger fucking. Oh yeah. With 12 H's. But he wasn't like conventionally fingering this woman. It wasn't tasteful finger fucking. It wasn't church finger fucking. It looks more like a mailman trying to jam mail through a slot that was full. Just, he was trying to learn a karate move that he learned on YouTube. But he didn't have the instructions right. And I didn't know my girlfriend very well at the time that she's watching this. And I was like, hey, maybe like we just go back inside and uh, get another beer. And my girlfriend, she goes, no. Let's see how this plays out. And I knew that I was in love. That is love, ladies and gentlemen. Find that love. If you don't have it, find it. Uh, I feel like every man has one thing in common with every other man, which is that eventually you want to destroy your father. Right? Like, whether it's financially, physically, metaphorically, metaphysically, you look at that man one day and you go, I'm gonna fuck you up! In your head, you know? Uh, For me, it was the year 1996. Uh, My family had just gotten a computer that is connected to the internet. And uh, I was tasked with the most important decision one could be tasked with in 1996, which is picking the AOL instant messenger name for the family, right? That's something you toil over. You think about it for a while. You try and see how, it's like building your family crest, you know what I mean? And uh, I took a couple days, but eventually I came up with the name Deep Deacon. Because my family, Has the last name Deacon? And I can only assume we like to fuck deep, you know? But here's the hitch in the plan, ladies and gentlemen, because about three days later, my dad decided on a whim to change the name of the AOL Instant Messenger name to Deeper Deacon, because he pays the bills and he fucks deeper than his prepubescent son. And for years, I was like, how am I going to best this man that has already bested me, ladies and gentlemen? Fast forward to 2008, my dad fucking dies. He's a dead fucking dad now. And then I have a moment of clarity, ladies and gentlemen. Because I realize I have access to the AOL email account that my dad used to set up the AOL instant messenger name. And so I contact AOL and I have him change the instant messenger name to Six Feet Deeper Deacon. Because I'm petty like that. All right. I've probably been up here enough, right, Damien? I'm just trying to wash the taste out of their mouth. 